they go off script. Everything before has been the same thing week in and week out, and now we're going to do something different. We start to pray out of the book of Psalms, and we don't use the same psalm every week. And so we have a psalm just for this Sunday, just for this week, and we're going to start there. But you might think, wait a minute, I'm 13, 17. What do these psalms have to do with me? They were written thousands of years ago by people I don't know. Some of them were kings. Some of them were important people. Some of them might have been people like me. Some of them were priests in the Old Testament tabernacle. What do they have to do with me? In the psalms, there is the entire range of human emotions. You find psalms that are angry, psalms that are sad, psalms that are depressed. Even some psalms that complain at God and say that he needs to God better. You've had that thought, right? Every Christian has. It's okay. And I know somebody's thinking, now wait a minute, maybe that's not okay. The divinely inspired scriptures in the book of Psalms do it. And if they do it, that gives you permission to do it too. And so in this poetic prayer, you get to say things to God. These psalms that we use in the divine service are going to line up with the rest of the Bible readings, with the sermon, with the hymns. It all is going to fit together in a great, wonderful way. But this is a way that you can pray to God because he gave you the prayer first. Think about when you were a baby. How did your parents teach you to talk? They got in your face and they said, Dada, Mama. They got you to talk by repeating what they said. God teaches you to pray by giving you the psalms. You never outgrow learning how to talk like God speaks to you. And so you use the psalms as a continual reminder of how to pray, how to speak to God with the full and certain confidence that God is listening, that God hears, and that God cares. So pray these psalms in a way that you know God cares. God wants to hear this. That's why God gave you the psalms. Wonderful news.